Hello everyone, this is Anna and today I am with Mr. Ismail from Turkey. Uh, I'm working as real estate consultant over here in Turkey with Mr. Ismail Jan, the man who needs no introduction, but for those who don't know him or his journey, we're going to begin with how Mr. Ismail has spent 15 years in the market and how he sees the future of the real estate market over here in Istanbul. Apart from that, it is very important for you to know that this is going to be a series of information for those who are interested in investing in the real estate market or here in Turkey. Mr. Ismail, this is the beginning of our great show. Exactly. <laughs> uh, welcome, Anna, to Thank Turkey, you. to Istanbul and to our company as well. It is a pleasure to meet you and to work with you. Same here, same here. Sir, tell us about your journey. You have spent 15 years. It's a huge time. Uh, exactly. Uh, it has been 15 years. Uh, we have started with Century 21, uh, American franchise company in real estate in Marmaris area, uh, selling holiday homes to the uh, British people wow. 15 years ago. And then um, last 10 years, we are in Istanbul. And in Istanbul, we are um, working uh, with the multinational countries from all over the world. I can say almost 86 countries are buying and investing in Turkey right now, especially in Istanbul, of course. Uh, because Istanbul is the place, uh, the midpoint of the uh, Asia and Europe, the Gulf and the north, uh, this is the meeting point for, um, I can say, Asia, Europe, and the Gulf countries, and the uh, African countries also. So this is a hub for investment, for tourism, for export, import, for transportation. Uh, and nowadays for also health tourism, it is becoming very popular. Um, and um, nowadays we are um, also working uh, with other uh, different countries like China, Pakistan, India, um, and Azerbaijan, Kyrgyzstan. I mean, people are coming from all over and we have been to many countries. I have been two times to Pakistan for the exhibitions, um, India, Dubai, uh, England, Russia, Qatar, du Dubai, Kuwait. I have been all these countries. We have been there for exhibitions uh, to show our properties to our customers. And we will continue, of course, these things. That's, that's great. Uh, with all these details, I can say that you are the man who is pretty much into everything regarding real estate over here in Istanbul and you have an idea about the market of real estate and the consumer mindset all around the world yes. whether it's Asia, Arabic countries or uh, Western countries. I just want to know that um, you know just from a third person perspective yes. as an outsider I'm asking you questions on the behalf of the audience. Like, uh, for example, someone has money and they want to invest in the real estate market over here. The very first question that occurs to the mind of an investor is that, is my investment safe? Is my investment going to get me a good return? Is it going to give me good profits? You know, what do you want to say to those people who have these questions in their mind? Uh, in Turkey, it is very safe because uh, uh, investors are protected by the government. And um, government uh, is asking for uh, investments from other countries and even sometimes giving advantages like tax-free for, for citizenship investment. Uh, sometimes there are more benefits than us for the foreigners. Uh, this is something unique in the world. Wow. And uh, in Turkey, we have an e-government system and everything is done through the 
government portals, government control. So your investment is 100% safe, first of all. And Istanbul is still very cheap comparing to America, big uh, cities like New York, Washington, London, um, and Germany, uh, Moscow, uh, Singapore, Hong Kong. Comparing to all these countries, um, our prices are still very cheap. That's why it is the right place to invest, is, uh, especially Istanbul. I can say, of course, all over Turkey, but Istanbul is more... This, uh, this exactly was going to be my next question. Like, when we ask people to invest in Turkey, uh, what, what do you suggest? I mean, is it the same uh, investing in Istanbul or investing anywhere else in Turkey, like, for example, Konya, Bursa, or Cappadocia, Sepanja, there are other places as well. So, in your opinion, in your honest, humble opinion, is it better to invest just in Istanbul or outside uh, Istanbul investments are equally profitable? Okay. Actually, investment is everywhere. Yeah. In, uh, there, is, there are different kinds of investment categories and it is good in different places. Um, we have Antalya, Bodrum, Marmaris, um, as you said, Sapanja, Bursa, Ankara. There are some other uh, cities which are very popular for investment, but some of them are good for holiday homes. Some people don't want holiday homes. Some people, they prefer retirement homes. Uh, Istanbul it is easier for them for investment. You have, we have more choices here. And uh, because it's a big city, of course, the return is higher than the other cities. And easier, and people speak English here. So it is uh, more practical to invest in Istanbul. Because it's a, a f now a worldwide famous brand, Istanbul. Everybody knows. That is why you are investing in a brand which is becoming more famous day by day. That is why when we say, especially talk about investment, Istanbul is the first place in Turkey to invest. By the way, before I proceed with my next question, I love Turkish coffee over here. And this has to be my favorite. Exactly. I like Turkish coffee also. <laughs> I every morning start with the Turkish coffee. Me too. Turkish coffee is very important for life in Istanbul, guys. <laughs> So, Mr. Ismail, I just wanted to ask you a very important question yes. on behalf of the audience that um, what about the after sale services? For example, someone buys a property over here and they don't want to live over here. And for some reason, they cannot live over here for a long time, but they would be worried about, you know, the hundreds of thousands of dollars property they have purchased over here. Does our company provide them some kind of facilitation to be taken care of their property? Definitely, because after sale is very, very important, more important than the purchase. Because uh, most of our customers are international customers, they are not living in here. So they are buying a property, investing here, and then they go to their countries. So someone has to look after their properties and we knew it last 15 years because our customers was always from England and Europe. So um, from the first day we have an after sale service, after sale team we have, a, which we uh, immediately they purchase their property, we are transferring to them to our after sale service. That's great, that's great because um... And I'm sure that uh, we take a lot of care. Guys, there's a lot more revolving around purchasing a property. It's not just, you know, just come and, you know, um, give money and buy the property. There are a lot of before and after processes involved. But for that, we're going to do more videos. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And stay tuned to uh, watch more such informative in videos regarding real estate investment in Turkey. Uh, Mr. Ismail, um, what about uh, the pandemic times? Like, How was it during the pandemic? People would still, you know, the business does not stop. 
Exactly. Uh, that that we were really surprised. Even in the con, um, uh, pandemic times, Corona. There was Corona. Investment in Istanbul didn't stop. Wow. People continue to buy. I, they either came or they bought online. In, they made investments online, and um, we made uh, really more easy. Uh, purchase sales in the pandemic times to our customers uh, because they bought through the, uh, our video services um, our uh, uh, agent services they bought uh, through this so I mean investment in Turkey uh, never stopped and we say uh, real estate sometimes can be uh, sick but will be never never die that's that's so true because you know whenever someone has money and they want to secure that money yes they go for buying a property because they know that this piece of property is going to stay there more than their life exactly so given that and at the beginning of our video, you compared the Istanbul market to Washington and Dubai. I was going to ask you the question uh, that, do you think uh, that there is a comparison? Because, you know, there is a lot of hype about Dubai market, New York market, Washington. And I had someone over here, um, a client, and they said that the prices are so high per square meters in the city center projects that they are not they are sometimes higher than the prices in washington what do, what would you like to say about that um of course we have got some areas like we call them golden areas like our bosphorus area is a diamond uh, it, it is a unique area in the world where europe and asia meets where you can see asia from europe with your own eyes in those places uh, it is a diamond place and the prices are really high at the Bosphorus at the uh, seafront areas of course that is something different that's the good thing about Istanbul Istanbul has got it's very long by the way it's like 100 kilometers from one side to other side and we have got a different uh, various of properties we have got properties starting from fifty thousand dollars up to i can say hundred million dollars yeah so we have got many choices yeah uh, and in general istanbul is still much uh, cheaper than the other uh, countries please correct me if i'm wrong um i have uh, realized and i have witnessed this thing that here the price of the property does not depend on per square meters but it entirely depends on the location, the view, the community. Exactly. Uh, everybody will know real estate means location, location, location. So uh, in good location, your property always more valuable. That, that's very interesting. And that is a very unique thing about real estate in uh, uh, Istanbul. I'm going to go ahead with my very last question for this sure. episode. How do you see the real estate market of Istanbul in 10 years from now? Uh, it has been uh, started rising last five years, the prices, and it is continuing. And Istanbul is becoming more famous. And people are coming, as I said from the beginning, they are coming and investing from all over the uh, world. So. Um, it will continue as it is. The prices are rising. So I advise our investors, our audience, not to wait. Immediately start searching, contacting with us for the right property according to them. And we will arrange for them in the right location, right property with the right budget. That's great. So, guys, um, a lot of people have been messaging uh, 
us as well and uh, they ask like when can we invest like when would be the right time to invest in Istanbul so it's now no. <laughs> it's now today and now today and now because you know uh, there is this other thing that I realized about uh, property in Turkey that it's so uncertain for example you like a project now and you ask about it a week later it's not gonna be there it's gone it's Indeed. gone it's gone <laughs> Uh, so. Because a lot of uh, uh, different nationalities are investing, uh, approximately every month, five thousand foreigners, five to ten thousand foreigners are buying in uh, Turkey. So um, they should hurry up mm. for the uh, right investment, not to miss the opportunities. Definitely, definitely. We're gonna go ahead and enjoy our morning coffee. And see you another time in another episode. So stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day.